to Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler in an MMA rules match. Um, we talked about this when we were doing the Raw Rewind that we got a lot more excited about this match because of those fantastic video promos that we saw during Raw. And so that is that's gotten me a lot more hyped for this, even if, you know, I'm still skeptical about how this match is going to be because it is MMA MMA style, which is great. That's obviously beneficial to both of them, if not mostly Ronda. Um, and, but we're yet to see that kind of match in WWE. So it's like, you don't know how full out MMA they're going to go. We don't know yet. And you also don't know how the crowd is going to respond because those style of matches are so much different than wrestling. They're not, they're a lot it's, it's slower a, it, night and day. Yeah. It, it and, really is night and day. Yeah. And, and so I, I'm wondering how the crowd is going to react because as a viewer at home, how the crowd is reacting to the match is also like how you can feed off that energy. Oh, absolutely, I'd agree. So if they're not into it, it's gonna feel worse for you at home. So I'm, I am curious about that aspect. Um, I do think Shane is going to win because you know we've talked about this for however long. We there were rumors of Ronda leaving WWE to make a return to UFC or something. There's something brewing with Ronda, and it feels like the perfect opportunity for her to put Shayna over, especially with those video packages. I feel like it would be a huge mistake <laughs> to have her saying all of these things, feeling like she's in the shadow of Ronda, for then Ronda to be like, "No, I'm still better than you." You know, like that would be. Yeah. Awful. I just had a brain blast. This is WWE testing the waters with mm. UFC. The Endeavor deal. People forget that WWE and UFC are owned by the same company, technically. Mm -hmm. So why not test the waters with one, the greatest UFC women's wrestler, wrestler, UFC women's fighter of all time, going up against one, her best friend uh, uh, ever. And someone who kind of got lost in the shadows of the women's division. Honestly, mm -hmm. Shayna Baszler was so dominant in black and gold. I mean, yeah. for God's sakes, Dakota Kai was scared of her. If you remember that feud. Mm -hmm. Bring her up to the main roster. You're putting her with Nia Jax. You know, the okay. one who's not like most girls. Okay. And <laughs> it's just, you. This, it's, it's stale. Stale. There's the yeah. word. It's stale. And how do you elevate her back into that women's division while also being like, hey, Dana White, like, we're going to do this. I think you should check this out so that we can have a better conversation about how to coexist under one umbrella. I, I really am very so 180. I mean, Sarah, you come on. How like this is a completely I know. different mood. Of how I viewed this match from I think maybe a week ago. Mm -hmm. you yeah, know, I don't know. I just I I'm so I'm very interested by this match. And who do you think is gonna win? Shana. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm like I don't it, think you you didn't say that part, but I oh, I thought I thought I started with it. Sorry. No, maybe I think Shana's gonna win easily. 